Good morning team. Welcome to the new rig. <laughs> Look at that. So this morning, Dad has managed to nearly make it good. Like he was like this close, but apparently this pole is five or ten millimeters shorter than this pole, which means that one fits perfectly and this one doesn't. Oh, it's just the top hole which has got a problem with. It's got three holes, it's got three bolts mounting it, but the top hole, as you can see, I've got nothing to go into. So Your what am I? Huh? Your gains in this look incredible. <laughs> but so I'm, I might have to drill another hole, hole in here. 59 years old with arms like that. That's what I took away from that. Anyway, basically I think the plan is, what he's going to do, we're going to put a bar across it and I'm just going to see if it falls apart when I swing on it. If it doesn't, <laughs> great. <laughs> and if it does, we have to rethink what we're going to do. We also have to move this, this oh, hold on a minute. rockery because when we have the rings hanging here, you don't want to be playing life or death on the rings. The bar should be fine, but the, yeah, so dad's nice rockery has also got to go, but he doesn't mind. We've turned, we're basically turning this house into the Craig Ritchie and Jeff Ritchie GM. Opening soon. All the engineering which went into the Titanic ship, it still sunk, didn't it? I'm a little bit worried about this. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. Now I know what this is, and... <laughs> This is not going to work. It's another giveaway. When I always go to my sponsors, I'm like, I want to give something back to the team. I want them to get something. And then usually it turns into like a giveaway. Today. Today, it's your chance to win one of the new X Endurance proteins in vanilla flavor and one of their new white freaking cool blender bottles. What a prize. The way you, I'm out of breath after <laughs> freaking fight that was. How you enter a team, you know the deal. Go over to X Endurance, there'll be a picture of myself. And underneath that picture, literally hashtag follow X Endurance, and I will pick one of those people that hashtag in the next vlog. The moment of truth. Dad, what do you think? Well, no, this is now the moment of truth. What do you think, Dad? Well, I think, yeah, it's gonna be good. I'm just worried about the flex on it, so I don't worry about it. I think this so. breaks. And I fall, Dad has to take over the YouTube channel, which isn't a bad thing. <laughs> a lot of people like him more than me, you know, that's taking over. So Jeff, Jeff, Listen. don't quit takeover. Pull ups. It's good. It's good, it's past the test, right? Yeah, Keeping. but no sharp object. <laughs> Bit of flex. Killing it. Happy with Great. it? Great. Now we need to put the bar on the other side and hang yeah. rings, but we haven't got the rings yet. Great success. Got a bit of a problem now, though. I can't get as high as the bar. So cool. Dad, please, oh, please don't. Left, yeah. <laughs> I do worry about my dad sometimes. I told you I worry. I went inside to go get some chalk. I want to try a bar muscle up. Just That is the ultimate test of integrity. Walk back out. <laughs> yep, that's my dad. Good. Yeah, it does. Hold on. Yeah. Oh, there it is. This is a long way up there. Yeah, it's quite far. Look, is that, are you sure that's 10 foot? Oh, it's 120 inches. I just had a deja vu. Wow, that's so weird. I just looked up there like, like I'd already knew that that was going to be deja vu. Everyone knows what it is. <gasps> Tested both the bars. They're perfectly fine. Now Dad has literally just put up the... Dad's put on the wobble target. Ta-da! Need another screw in there. So, let's just make sure it works. All right, reach. Hold I'm on. Show you. No, it's because this plumbing. Oh, now we can do everything here. We're now open up for gym memberships. Anyone wants to sign up, it will cost you three hundred dollars a month. But um, put down in the comments below if you want to join. Go on then, Dad. Want to do it one hand or two hands? One hand. <laughs> so that is the outdoor rig done. This bar is super high because it's going to have the rings hanging from it and it's also going to have a rope. This is so cool! What are you saying, Malk? What's quite painful? This one's very evil. <laughs> I'm notorious for bad calves over this last year. You've got the whitest calves in the world, put it that way. I've been under water for three months and watching no sun. <laughs> Makes your eyes go funny. Yeah. Rep it out was on Sunday, we built the rig yesterday. Look how this goes, look, watch this. That is mental. This is the pulse roll. Rep it out on Sunday, they just gave us one to try out. 
pretty decent. Yesterday, complete rest day. Body wasn't too bad after the competition. I thought it was going to be a lot worse. I thought I was going to be like an ironing board and not be able to move, but I actually could. But I used my brain and was smart and didn't do anything. Yes, science! And now today, Malk wants to get fit. Try. <laughs> so I'm, we're going to do something horrendous. Oh, by the way, I haven't shown you guys this. Look at the new rack. Cleared up all the floor space. This episode is basically about home gym upgrades. We've now got the outdoor rig, we've got... In the garage gym is now officially finished. Dumbbell shelf. Yeah, I can feel it like that. Shelf. As I was doing it, I could feel my IT band releasing a little bit. Just like the vibration of it, it's quite nice. Yeah. Two minutes on, two minutes off. On the bike and then the rower times eight. I will bike, Mark will bike, I will row, Mark will row for calories. Did the 15 rounds of two minutes on, two minutes off with Ollie on the bike and it was one of the most miserable things ever. So today we just added an extra round in, we're doing 16 rounds of two minutes on, two minutes off, but we're alternating between the bike and the rower. Someone asked me the other day on Instagram, they go, how do you get used to the bike? I said, when you're dead after the first round, you just keep getting back on it. It's literally how I've learned to enjoy it. Right, Mark? Mm. Yeah. I swear the bike, every time you get on it, it never gets any easier. And honestly, I didn't feel like I was getting any fitter until that competition two days ago. And then I was like, wow, all the work's paid off mentally and physically. And by the way team, check out these. We bought CrossFit game shorts. John, thank you very much. Beast to Beast left them when he left. Apparently one of the masters in his gym gave him them and then he gave them to me. These used to belong to an American CrossFit games athlete, masters. Pretty cool. <laughs> Team, today, we're repping that we don't quit because I know I'm going to want it. Yeah. You. Ah, fourth round in, just on the bike, got the row and then we're halfway. I wanted to quit so bad on the bike then. <laughs> I got 45 seconds into two minutes, so I was like, why am I doing this? I think I went out too hot on the first two rounds. Ah, it's because I was buzzing off life from yesterday. It's kind of fun though when you put yourself in the pen cave early. Because then it's like, oh crap. Five rounds done. Oh, sick. That was a mental challenge as well. Yeah, out of 10 mouth, how hard? That was a solid 9.3. Not much room for improvement on hardness. We haven't said that on the channel in so long. Not much room for improvement. I'm gonna go for the pain step today. Pain step, well deserved. For 16 minutes on the bike, I got 312 cows. Malk got 244.4 and on the row 368 Malk got 327 that means we got a total today of 680 calories in 32 minutes not bad Richie, not bad and Malk got 571 in total now go beat us team that was a horrible one, loads of you have been showing me that you've been doing the 15 rounds of 2 minutes on 2 minutes off on the bike try this one, 16 rounds but you only do eight on the bike and eight on the row. Oh, my ears are popping. You know when your ears, do you get that? Yeah. When you, when you finish, I feel like I'm talking in the middle of my head. I swear your t-shirt was a different colour when we started. It might have been a lighter shade of grey. It's been raining today. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. What's up, Jazz? Huh? Huh? Hmm? What do you say? What did you say? I say, what's up, Jazz? What's up? <laughs> What's up? You haven't seen us doing this in a while. But we have been doing it. Accessory work. I've got a, like, what? You got sweat patches? Mm -hmm. yeah. And down there. Looks what have like you done, Ed? Looks like a weed myself. <laughs> Ed's back on the vlog. Hi. <laughs> Come in, Jazz.
the same. Yay! High five. 60 kilos, squat cleans with Jazz, over body weight, killing it. Every single rep looks the same. For the last couple of months, Jazz has had a bit of a shoulder injury, so we've just drilled technique. And today it was like we did high hang over and over with a lighter weight, so she can co get comfortable dropping under the bar. And then I was like, Jazz, just keep adding a bit of weight. We didn't go to a max, which is 70, but we went to 80-ish percent, 85 percent of a 1RM, and just did eight singles. Every single one looked the same, every single one super confident. 75 kilo squat cleans come in so easy. That felt so good. Have the patience to go back and drill your technique. It works. It pays off. The thing with Jazz, you just have to build her confidence and realise and show her videos and things like that that she's actually getting the bar high enough for her to drop. Because a lot of the time with cleans, you will get the bar high enough, you just have to have that confidence to really like get under it. It doesn't feel like it goes high enough, but then you watch the video back and you're like, oh, maybe, maybe I could drop a drop to the bit. Trust me, when I pull 140 off the floor, I'm like, this is freaking heavy and I don't know if I'm going to get under it. Thank but you. But you drop under it anyway. No worries, you killed it. That's it, Kieran. <laughs> Solid. Solid. <laughs> I think it was the boots weighing you down. Well, that's what we're going to say. Yeah. All right. Look at that. The rig doesn't oh, even shake. It doesn't boat. even shake. Yeah. Ugh. It's making me look good, hopefully. <laughs>